Hello everyone, it's Jessica here and I'm back with another scrapbook process video for you. Today I am showing you one of my December 2021 layouts using the Cozy Days Periscription cut file, which you can subscribe to every month um, and you will receive either five digital cut files plus a freebie or five actual cut files in the mail plus a freebie. So you can subscribe to that and I can link that below for you if you're interested and new ones come out every month for that. And I'm going to be using this one this month. Um, I'm just documenting some photos here of my husband and I on a cozy snowy day is what I am calling it because we were all bundled up as you can see and enjoying a um, outing with our snowmobiles and having so much fun in the snow. So I am using this super cute cut file that Marie created that says cozy days with a cute little hat and a scarf and some mittens on it. So I'm actually going to be doing some mixed media on here below my cut file and photos. So what I've done here is I've just ripped the top portion of my piece of paper from Paper Rose and I'm going to use that on the top and then I'm going to just use the kissing technique or packaging technique on the bottom to smush some of these distress inks in there and I am just starting with Rustic Wilderness and also Pine Needles because those are the two greens that seem to match the paper that I chose to back my cut file with. Um, I'm actually doing some stash busting as well in this video. So I'm using some various embellishments from different collections. I'm using some from a Faith collection. I'm using some from Echo Park's Warm and Cozy line, which is actually what the papers are from that I backed my cut file with as well. And I, I did that off camera before I started the video just because um, it takes me a while to back these files. So I figured you did not want to sit through that and get kind of bored. So here I am just going to do some splatters with pine needles and then I'm going to add some splatters with some Distress Oxide sprays as well. Um, I like to use both the inks and the oxides whenever I do splatters because it just creates a different effect. Um, and it, the oxides seem to have like a chalkier finish and you can't see through them. So they do show up a little bit better for the splatters. So I use shabby shutters and pine needles and then I'm actually going in with some chip sapphire ink as well for my splatters. So here I'm just adding some in with the rustic wilderness just a little bit because I don't want to overpower my mixed media underneath with the darkness of the um, oxide in the rustic wilderness. So I'm just using my paper towel to kind of roll over that just to dry it up a little bit. And then I'm adding some white splatters just with some regular white paint. I'm going to set that aside to dry while I work on the rest of my layout. So here I'm pulling my cut file back in and my top piece of paper. I kind of fiddle with this a while. Um, I originally wanted to use my cut file on the top, but because of the hat being there, it had that space at the top and I didn't really like how that was turning out. So um, I ended up moving that down in the end and um, I like it a lot better with the cut file title over the mixed media part. But you'll see, you'll see me fiddle with this a bit later as I try to place everything down. But right now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of layering up my papers. I have some bits and pieces left over from backing the cut file. So I'm just trying to utilize those scraps and use them behind my photos. So I'm not too particular in the sizes or if they're perfect on there because I'm going to rough them up there as you can see anyways. So they don't have to be absolutely perfect. I'm basically just trying to use up the scraps and just give it a layered effect behind my photos. So here I'm just placing them kind of where I want them to go and I love this plaid paper so I'm backing my other picture with that paper and then I'm just going to use up my little scrap there as well and put that on there too. So I'm just kind of trying to make it so I don't have a lot of scraps left over. So here I am just finishing up these layers and kind of placing my photos where I want them to go. I'm going to just dry up the rest of that white paint and then pull in my top piece on the top of the paper there. 
I actually use the Vicky Booten mixed media paper, the foundations paper, to hold all my mixed media because it's a lot thicker paper, so it does hold up a little bit better to the warping whenever you add all of those liquids to it. So I just popped in some vellum underneath that top sheet just to give it some added effect there. And then um, here is where I kind of fiddle with my cut file and my embellishments and photos. I really try to make this work with the cut file on top, but it just, it doesn't look right to me. And I just end up moving it all around and completely flipping this and doing something completely different than what I originally thought I was going to do. So you'll see me fiddle with this a little bit more and then here is where I flip it around. So I do like this a lot better. I like the way that that cup file stands out on top of the mixed media. And then I'm basically just going to finish embellishing this.
So here is my finished layout. I absolutely love how this came together. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you're interested in subscribing to the Pearscriptions every month, I will link that down below for you and make sure you join our Pear Tree Cut Files Facebook group for more inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!